Hi, my name is David Klumner. I'm a documentary photographer from Montana. Every winter I travel to a different small Pacific country and go to a relatively remote island within that chain and I stay for about six or seven weeks and I photograph the community. Um, this involves family portraits for everybody who's willing to be photographed, student portraits of all the kids at the school, and then a whole ton of documentary photos. I wake up every morning and I photograph until dusk um, trying to capture what life is like today on this island. Um, Spoiler, it's not loincloths and face paint. It is Nike t-shirts, um, sometimes the building of a dugout canoe. Um, sometimes it's TV or bingo. Uh, there, there's just, I just photograph whatever it is that I find on that island. I don't pose anything. I don't influence any situations. Um, I want it to be pure photojournalism. So uh, what I'm asking for from you is help in funding a copy of this book here, The People of Monono Island. Um, to go back to every family and every student on the island as well as a portrait package of their individual portraits. Um, we've been able to fund this a couple times before with Vanuatu and Tonga and I hope we can continue it this year. Um, I find a lot of value in photography. It's my career. I hope that you do as well. Maybe you have, you're lucky enough to have family portraits, uh, maybe portraits of your childhood, a few portraits of your life along the way. That doesn't happen in Pacific Islands. There just isn't the means to print photos there. Um, there are more photos being taken these days with cell phones, um, but really those photos just stay on the cell phones until those phones are dropped overboard or smashed or they, they meet their demise via salt in the air or something. Um, so my goal with this project is to put photos in print because that's how photos last, um, is when they're on a piece of paper. So um, we will send back hopefully around 135 books um, thousands and thousands of photos, many of which are laminated to protect and see elements. Um, I try to take every precaution I can to help these photos last until the next generations, which of course is like who I really want to see these photos. I know the people on the island right now will just fall in love with them. It'll be amazing. But I hope that they'll slip these books away and then 50 years from now, 100 years from now, their children and grandchildren will take them out and be able to see what life was like today. Um, because so many things will happen, you know, in the next coming decades or centuries that we can't even predict right now. Um, and I think that this will, we have the means right now to save all of this, so that's what I'm trying to do. Um, and I hope that when those people look at these books 100 years from now, they do so with the same awe that the current residents do when they look through the photos in the Tonga book or the Vanuatu book. They'll spend an hour and a half looking through each of these books, just dissecting every photo. It's so amazing to watch. They want to know more about uh, weaving in, in Vanuatu and Tonga. They want to know what kind of uh, crops they grow, what the kids are wearing, why some of them are smiling in the photos, and some of them look really awkward, which hint happens in <laughs> every year. Um, uh, yeah, but they just, uh, it's interesting like how their cultural influences mostly come from TV, and so you know, Western culture produces a lot of high quality television and that's what they see a lot of. Um, but they don't really have much interaction with the island chains that are, you know, 500 or 1,000 miles away other than looking through these books. So um, we're, uh, we're helping it out in, <laughs> we're helping out that, that cultural exchange in a lot of ways that I hadn't even anticipated when I started this project. Um, but anyway, so I am hoping that your contribution um, will help put these books and these portraits back in the hands of the people that I photograph. Um, again, without, with the exception of the Kickstarter fees, 100% of your contribution is going towards this, this project. Um, I've laid out all the expenses in the project description. I want to be as transparent as I can. I hope that you 